after having completed the wing um, it's now time to assemble the aileron and uh, I've got the parts laid out here so we've got the skin which is way too long I imagine that they must put a long enough one in the kit for the 5050 Sport Acro uh, combination of aileron and flaps but uh, I'm using the standard one so we're basically a third aileron and two thirds flap so this is going to be cut down quite a, a bit I've um, primarily marked the end with uh, the cut lines that I'm going to cut this one's got to be cut at a jaunty angle in two different planes so uh, to match the the angles on the wing tip and then about here somewhere as long as the uh, as long as that end goes well we will cut it off around about here I'm going to cut this end first because it's a complicated uh, compound um, angles and uh, if I mess it up I can always cut it again and again and again until I get it right and then it's a question of measuring back this way and chopping the excess off so that allows me to have several goes um, at getting uh, the angles right I'm sure it'll go right first time but you never know these are the other parts we've got some ribs um, one is the uh, will be made into the root rib which goes in this end and then we've got the tip rib which is this big one strange ang angles on that one that's got to be bent to fit once we've cut the end off the skin then we've got a middle rib and then two ribs which are used with the counterweight um, brackets and there's the counterweight which I'm hoping is big enough um, it's not actually long enough you, well, basically you cut this in half to make two counterweights one for each wing and uh, it's not actually long enough to make the size of counterweight that um, is on the plans but I have the feeling that you probably need the full size one for the full size aileron for the 50-50 split and probably a smaller piece for the third two-third split but we'll see um, it's not difficult to uh, to go out and get another piece of um, lead if necessary um, and then there's a couple of other bits and of course the hinge to go across the back so I'm going to uh, start to uh, sort these pieces out there's a few little sub assemblies to uh, to make first so um, I'll pop those together and then um, then we'll cut the uh, the skin and uh, take it from there so a bit more later on well just a quick update um, I've uh, managed to put a couple of bits together of the aileron we've got the drive rib which is a fairly simple uh, to put two pieces together and uh, rivet them with 20 odd rivets um, took about half an hour to uh, line it up drill it um, drill it out deburr it and rivet it the counterbalance assembly on the other hand put up a bit of a fight um, only in that I found it quite difficult to make sure that the two halves of it were absolutely perfectly identical 
And in the end, the only way to do that was really to sandwich the whole lot together um, and drill through all the, uh, the main parts um, without the little joining bit in the middle. So uh, basically uh, making sure that both of the ribs were uh, absolutely in line and level with each other and both the counterbalance arms were in line and perfectly aligned with each other as well. Um, so that took three and a half hours believe it or not <laughs> to uh, assemble what is only uh, about six parts. Um, there are quite a lot of rivets in there but uh, it it was a little bit of a, uh, a project in its own right. Anyway, they're both done. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, sort out the um, the uh, hinge that runs along the airlong. I've got to, uh, to pre-drill the hinge half and cut it to length. And then it's on to the skin and preparing the skin um, and then we've got to join all the bits together so that's how far I've got so far so about four hours to produce those two pieces speak to you later welcome back I've just sliced the end off the uh, aileron uh, skin and uh, it looks pretty good actually a uh, nice follows the line from the end back edge of the wing backwards and uh, if we look at it underneath here it's ooh, pretty pretty much in line with the wing tip as well not looking bad at all. I haven't cleaned it up at the moment. It's exactly as I cut it. I used my trusty uh, metal disc in the end, or cutter, metal disc cutter, in the end of my trusty Dremel to do it. Um, it took probably two to three minutes to, uh, to cut all three edges. Um, it's very very fast and um, pretty accurate as well I'd cut it just shy of the uh, of the line I don't know whether you can see it there but um, it is just fractionally shy of the line and then uh, I'll clean it up with um, with a file and make it look pretty um, the Dremel attachment I use is the Dremel Easy Speed Click system, which there's a little spring loaded boss, and then each one of these discs, I'll just take one out of the, there's the disc itself, it's like a, a mini angle grinder disc, it has this funny shaped hole in it and um, basically you pull the spring clip back pop it into the uh, hole in the center give it a 90 degree turn and it clips in place and they are really really good um, you can cut through steel stainless steel aluminium uh, anything you want really um, they are very very good um, and the Dremel that I'm using is the uh, is the Dremel 3000 um, it's fairly powerful and uh, does an excellent job so that's one end cut I'm going to uh, file it up and uh, just check that it's absolutely spot on and then if it is 
We'll move to the other end and we've got a provisional line in there already to chop this end off but I'll refer to the drawings first just to make sure exactly where we need to chop it in relationship to the end of the hinge and also so that everything lines up with the aileron drive hole in the back of the wing so we want to make sure that the horn and the rod that comes through there clear everything so anyway that's that little uh, little job done and uh, i'll report back when there's something else to see this is a better view from the underside of the aileron. I've turned it over now. And uh, you can see the crazy angle that uh, everything is being cut at to, uh, to match the end of the wing. So it uh, really is quite an interesting cut. But um, as you can see, it, uh, the Dremel does an extremely good job and you get no distortion of the, uh, of the skin at all and very little to clean up afterwards. So I've already done the, uh, the top edge with a file um, and uh, effectively draw filing it and... Uh, just got these two edges to clean up and then we'll uh, have a look at doing the rest of it.